Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in the previous video, I went to my local tax shop to hunt for Briar models. If you want to watch that video, it will be in the cards and the video description down below. But in this video, I'm shopping at that same tax shop for new grooming tools and browsing through some other horse supplies. I used to have my own set of grooming tools many years ago, but they all ended up getting ruined, so it's about time that I replaced them. I wasn't getting anything fancy here, pretty much just the basic grooming tools. I'd also like to quickly note that this was during social distancing, so I was wearing a mask in the store and washing my hands afterwards. They had a variety of grooming tools available, and the good thing is that a lot of these grooming tools are also pretty cheap. A lot of them were under $10. I first picked out a curry comb, which I didn't realize until later that I didn't really need one. I forgot that I actually already had a curry comb that a friend had given me. Regardless, at the time, I ended up picking out this purple sparkly curry comb. It was like the perfect size for my hand, and I liked the color of it, so I went ahead and got that one. As for brushes, tons and tons of different types of brushes. I did already have a face brush, again, that a friend gave me, so I didn't need a really soft brush. I was looking for a stiffer body brush. There were so many different colors and different types and sizes of body brushes and soft face brushes. It took me a little while to decide which one to get. While I was deciding on those, I went ahead and went back to the sweat scrapers and tried to decide which one to get. I was considering one of these long plastic sweat scrapers, but I ended up going with the kind of more compact circular sweat scraper here, just because it would fit into my grooming bag a lot easier. So I ended up picking out this green sweat scraper. I then picked out a new mane and tail brush. I went ahead and picked out this nice dark blue one that was cheap. Back to the body brushes. It took me a while to decide on which one to get. I'm very bad at making decisions, by the way. But I eventually settled on this pink and blue one. I did also look at the various grooming bags and boxes. I used to have a grooming box, but it again ended up getting ruined and broken and had to be thrown away. But my dad had a bag that would work perfectly for the grooming tools, so I decided to save my money and just use that instead. The last grooming tool I needed was a hoof pick. So I picked out this pink hoof pick here. And then that was it for grooming tools, but I did end up buying one other horse supply and also did some browsing around at what they had. The other item I needed was a new pair of gloves. My current pair are getting pretty worn, and I was surprised that they actually still had my same exact pair that I currently use in stock. And while they had a ton of variety of gloves, I decided to play it safe and just use the same kind that I already had. Because I actually really like this particular kind I have, because it doesn't make my hand get too hot, and it's comfortable, and fits perfectly. So I was like, you know what, we're just going to buy another pair of these gloves. So this way, when my pair that I'm currently using are getting way too worn out, which they're getting to that point, I can just put on these brand new ones. I also looked at these saddle pads. I do need to get a new saddle pad at some point soon. I browsed around at quite a few of them, but I didn't find one that super stuck out to me that I really wanted, so I didn't end up buying one this time. But I will have to look into getting a new saddle pad at some point in the future here. While looking at the saddle pads, I also stumbled across some saddle bags and I fell in love with these blue and pink saddle bags. They are so cute. They're like star stable in real life. I really wanted to get them, but at the same time, there was really no reason for me to get them. I don't go out on trail rides to different crazy places or anything like that, so I didn't really have any purpose for them. But if I ever need to get saddle bags someday, I'd love to get those pink or blue ones. I also took a peek at what lassos they had. I'm actually going to be doing a separate video in the future about roping, which I can't wait to show you guys. But I was just kind of browsing, seeing what kind of lassos they had. They clearly had some fun different colors as well for these. And I am thinking about getting my own lasso at some point, but for this trip, I did not get one. And then that was it for my shopping for grooming tools and other horse supplies at the tack shop. Lastly though, I wanted to show you guys my grooming tools. This bag was originally intended for like car tools, but it works perfect for a little compact grooming bag. Here is the curry comb that I forgot that I actually had that a friend gave me. So I went ahead and put that in there. Then there is the brush that I already had as well that a friend gave me. 
a really pretty purple face brush. And stuff still has its tags, but I'm gonna take those off, of course. There is the sweat scraper, the mane and tail comb, the curry comb I bought, the body brush I purchased, and the hoof pick. So there's all those basic grooming tools in the little bag there. And then here it is again later with all of the price tags taken off of everything. So that ended up all working out perfectly to be my little compact bag of grooming supplies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different from the normal videos I do, but I am trying to work in some more real life horse videos here and there into my channel. Let me know in the comments below if you have your own set of grooming tools or if you want your own set of grooming tools. What kind of color coordination would you want for them? Would you want them to all be one color? Like for me, I wanted them to all be purple, although I wasn't able to quite make that happen because there wasn't purple colors available of everything I got. But let me know what your kind of dream set of grooming tools would be color-wise. I hope you all have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!